Hello everyone and welcome to another Tech Fusion episode. I am of course your host Alex as always and uh, well today we'd like to start off by thanking each and one of you for subscribing to our channel. We're very thankful for uh, all of you guys who are watching our content and so we'd like to start off this video by uh, giving away $100 in Ethereum to a lucky subscriber out there who hopefully is going to go a long way especially if you're at the beginning of your long crypto journey ahead. Now, I definitely realize that $100 is not a very whole lot, especially when you're considering GPUs and the crazy prices that, uh, that they go out for on the markets nowadays. But this is definitely helping uh, you guys, especially if you're at the beginning of your crypto mining journey, to buy out uh, maybe better accessories, like, I don't know, a better rig or a higher uh, capacity rig to hold your GPUs, uh, spec out a better PSU, buy some more extension cables, buy some better riser cables, buy some fans, things like that. Things that will help you get started at the beginning of your uh, endeavor, so to say. Of course, at the moment, we are a very small channel here on the YouTube platform and we are not seeing any sort of revenue, especially in the crypto mining world. But this is definitely something that we can do by taking away some of the um, income that we have been able to mine on our GPUs and give them back to you guys as a token of appreciation for your continuous support by subscribing to our channel leaving likes to the videos and of course thoughts and comments down in the boxes below for all the previous videos and hopefully for the future videos to come. If you want to have a chance to win the raffle there are three easy steps to join in and that is first of all to be subscribed to our channel, secondly to leave a positive comment down in the box below and thirdly to leave a like on this video. So the way things are going to work are actually very simple. We are going to upload the video, give it 30 days time and at the end of the 30 days time we're going to use one of those uh, random uh, common picker from YouTube. We'll choose a person, cross check them with the subscription list and if you're an actual subscriber of, to our channel then we will uh, take away the email address from your YouTube account. Uh, we'll contact you directly for your Ethereum wallet and we will be able to that way send the money directly to you. In order to maintain full disclosure here, at the end of all things said and done, we'll go over to the Etherscan network, we'll take the transaction details and pin them into a comment to this video so that everybody can see that the money has actually arrived to one of you guys out there. Another very important thing that I want to mention here is always be wary of scammers. Of course, we are a very small YouTube channel, but uh, whenever there are money involved, there are people trying to scam other people out of them. So just be very, very sure to check the email address that you are getting, that it is exactly the one that we have listed on our YouTube channel. So that's techfusion21 at gmail.com. So there are no uh, typos or misspelled anything. Just make sure to have the exact address as I'm telling you it is. And you can double check it under our uh, YouTube account, of course. Uh, another thing is that we will be only asking you for your ETH wallet, so we're not going to be asking you for any sort of private details, we're not interested in that. We just want to have an address from you, a valid uh, wallet that we can send the money to and nothing else. So if there's somebody out there trying to contact you to give them any sort of private information, don't do it, it's not us, we're not going to ask you any sort of private info. So I've been planning to make this video for some time now because I think it's actually very important to take the correct steps into deciding which GPU is best for you, especially moving forward in 2022 when Ethereum is not going to be mineable anymore after Ethereum goes to proof of stake. So uh, I won't be mentioning any sort of specific prices for any of these specific GPUs right here because as you know the local deals that I'm able to find in my local markets might not apply to you because the deals and the markets are still crazy with prices being overinflated for any specific GPU. So we're definitely not the biggest channel out there when it comes to crypto mining, uh, especially on the YouTube platform. But we have been doing our due diligence and we have been working around for the past four months with the GPUs that we have here on hand. And I think we're more than capable right now to give you our professional opinion into what should you take into consideration before you make a purchase or informed decision about making a purchase moving forward in 2022. So the first factor on the list here is the eat hash potential of the GPU that you're planning to buy. So why am I still talking about Ethereum and the hash rates of being something of relevancy in 2022 when I've just mentioned that Ethereum is going to go away and become unmineable when it's going to go over to proof of stake? In December of 2021, at the moment of shooting this video, Ethereum is still the king of the hill, so it is the most profitable coin to mine. It is definitely the most efficient out there coin to mine. And uh, well, I should say it is the most stable out of the bunch. So that overall, these three factors combined are going to give you an increased uh, return on investment which is something that you should be definitely looking out, especially if you're a beginner in your crypto mining journey. So I definitely think at the moment we're living on uh, some sort of borrowed time if you want with Ethereum. So I think that we should make the most out of it by mining it and probably and hopefully it's going to increase in value as soon as it's going to move over to proof of stake. 
So do keep in mind that the landscape after Ethereum is going to go away is going to be totally different because all of the available hash rate of the network is going to be distributed around all the other cryptos and there's going to be a dynamic period where, I don't know, some sort of cryptos are going to rise in popularity, then fall, then others are going to rise and fall and so on and so forth until a decisive king is going to present itself by all the hash rate being allocated or mostly all of the hash rate being allocated to that cryptocurrency, increasing it in value and thus presenting itself to be the right choice for us. But until that moment comes, I should definitely hope and uh, well think that you should stick with Ethereum because this is the most profitable coin at the moment and you should be making the most out of your time and money and the resources that you put into it. So this brings us down to number two, which is the mining potential LHR versus non-LHR on the GPUs that you are going to buy. So the point that I'm trying to make is actually quite common sense and it's quite simple. Uh, try and buy GPUs that are non-limited in any way, shape or form because you don't really know in 2022 which cryptocurrency is going to become the next big thing and you definitely don't want to find yourself in the boat where you have a lot of hardware that is limited in the capacity to uh, mine that certain cryptocurrency, especially considering that the prices or the initial prices of the cryptocurrency that is going to take over the place of Ethereum is not going to be as profitable as Ethereum is right now. So that definitely means a diminished return on investment and you don't want to further diminish your return on investment by buying now gear that is probably going to hinder you later on in the process. Let's move over to number 3 on the list here which is the resale value of your GPUs. I am of course talking about the long term resale value of a GPU so for example uh, if you have just the budget right now for an RTX 3080 which is limited hash rate and you pay what you pay for it today let's say two years from now you're going to try and sell that gpu in order to get the, the latest and greatest at the time you are going to get less money for this gpu right here than you are going to get let's say for an rtx 3090 because it is non-limited in any way shape or form so of course it's going to perform better even two years from now whatever uh, whatever cryptocurrency algorithm is still mineable by gpus so unfortunately this is the world and uh, the 101 economics still apply to us crypto miners so if you have the budget for it I should definitely encourage you to buy the latest and greatest right now because you are going to get a better kickback two years down the road when you are going to try and sell that GPU and ultimately you'll have to put in uh, less money of your own from your own pocket to buy the latest and greatest in order to still maintain your uh, profitability edge in this crypto space. So we arrive at number four, which is the MSRP plus uh, an amount of percentage on top of the MSRP. That is basically down to your own preference of how much you're planning or how much you are willing to pay for a GPU in order to have it and start using it right away. The way I try to approach this factor is very simple. For instance, for me, when I'm talking about secondhand market, I am just looking to pay over maybe a maximum of 20% on the MSRP price of each of the GPUs that I'm trying to acquire. Uh, that is quite simple, although I'm limited in my options. I do not want to pay more than 20% because I do not consider that I'm going to get more than 20% two years down the road when I'm going to try and sell that GPU. So basically, I'm still thinking and hoping and trying to get for it the same amount of money two years down the road that I have paid right now, if that makes sense. I don't know if that's truly feasible or not, but I'm definitely limiting the amount of money that I'm going to lose on a GPU. If I'm going to hold back right now and not overpay too much for the GPU right now as it is, just to have it, and then find myself two years later down the road in a position where I'm going to lose a lot of money on it and probably I'm not going to be very happy but I'm still going to have to do it because as you know in the crypto mining space it is very important to always buy the latest gear because the latest gear always proves to be the most efficient uh, while mining and is going to potentially give you the most return on your investment so that's definitely something that you should be looking out for. So of course this 20% is my own personal preference and this might be different for you of course it takes into consideration and it should take into consideration factors like the GPU markets and the prices that you find on said GPU markets, uh, the capital or the budget that you have at your disposal to spend on some of these GPUs and the overall uh, willingness of you to buy some GPUs regardless of how expensive they might be for you and whatever plan of investment you have moving forward in 2022. For you, it might be 50%, it might be 60%, it might be 100%, it might be 200%. So you might be willing to pay three times the MSRP for a, for a GPU. That's all up to you and of course that's all up to your business model. But I definitely um, in a nutshell want to tell you that you should be spending less now because of course ultimately you are going to sell those GPUs in order to get brand new ones. And of course you don't want to pay too much now because you're not going to get as much at that moment. So uh, yeah, you don't want to overpay for things generally. We can't thank each and every one of you enough for being so awesome to subscribe and liking the videos and showing your continuous support here on the channel. 
So right now we have just created a Discord server and although it's brand new right now I do definitely encourage you guys to move over to Discord as uh, that's the place where we are going to try and answer each and every one of you for all of the questions that you might have uh, that might be unrelated to the videos that we make. Thank you very much guys for being along with me on this very special episode. This was Alex from TechFusion and uh, well, please stick around as we will try to give more uh, to the community by hosting more giveaways of course in the future. And another thing that I want to mention here is that we are trying to create a Discord server at the moment. So please stick around for future videos to get all the information required because the uh, idea behind this channel is to actually create a community where you have all the information available to you in one spot and all the people who are interested in the same things as you are are being able to help each other out with all the information that we need.